Hello, all over the world, hairdresser. Now it's a training, the haircut number three. For the motion and the movement, what the effect to the haircut? You might be thinking about it. For the motion, haircut, what kind of relationship each other? Yes, I know. I will try to explain to you. When you're cutting hair, you usually stand still, both foot to the pedal. That's the most comfortable to stand. That's I understand. Unfortunately, like you look at the body, your body moves the circular motion, while your hand really moves that part of the circular motion. If you're standing both for the parallel to the shoulder, it's almost impossible to you to cut the hair straight because everything moving is a circular motion. So never make it straight, even cut. Always something triangle shape. So some hairdressers know that, so they try to get it corrected. Take a time to do back and forth, front and back. So just cutting shoulder and shoulder, then it change the whole shape of the style of the change. When I start cutting hair, many people show us diagram to explain what kind of angle, etc. But a hair has so many hair there, then also each one was separate, not like a piece of wood. Then how are you gonna do it? Then I see it, instruct to explain to them, they hardly cut exactly the same angle. When I learn the haircut by the book, by the video or show, they show us always very close up a hand only. They don't show us the whole entire body. Hand is hold the hair, open the scissors, cut. So I don't need to close up. I like to know how to get that way. I explain to you both for the parallel to the body, it's the most comfortable. But that one is a Navy Army Stampede because it's the most comfortable, you don't move. Stand still, same position. Let's go see the other people do the sports. They might be changing the body position. Look at it for the pool table and boarding. They aim it and the shoulders aim it to the gold. That's what they do. And also baseball player, pitcher, they would be looking for the catcher to the sideways slow. That we call a two o'clock position and sometimes 10 o'clock position. One foot forward, one foot stay there. Baseball butter and the sideways stand to look at the picture. But when you look at the foot, they always do that one foot forward, other foot forward. Depends which you're going to hit it. They change the foot position. That much important. So does the golf. Same way. Sounds like it hitting the post parallel. Yes, they do parallel, but sometimes the one foot forward, one foot backward. That much important for the foot position is. So hairstyle the foot position is sometimes in a half foot forward, half foot backward, sometimes 10 o'clock, sometimes two o'clock position to four different kinds how to be master. When you're cutting hair, you don't put on a foot pair or to standing. Now you know how important a standing position is, foot position is. If you're interested, go to the Patreon, send me the phone video or email. I will explain to you what your problem, how to correct it. If you like a video, then go to the video to download my video, you could see it. Then you need a worksheet. I will happy to send it to the worksheet for you. Of course, you're gonna download it from your computer, then you could print up. You have to training by yourself. I love to coach you all the time, but bottom line, you have to do it. Your future is really open up. Let's go start to the foot movement. This is the two o'clock position to move the side away because suppose you open them up all the time. You don't walk that forward. You usually turn around the chair. So you have to keep practicing and back and forth. Make sure two o'clock position and sometimes you do that 10 o'clock position, opposite way to do it. It's kind of awkward to begin with it because you never did this one. So gotta be done for about eight hours to be done. The next one is a half foot forward. Again, this is the half foot forward, half foot backward, opposite side. This is the same thing. And you gotta be, have to be continuous to do it, muscle memory. And see, this she was doing there a little bit, it's not so smooth, but that's for the start. You have to, again, eight hours to do it. Now you use a real chair to do it. One side, the two o'clock position, this is the, you could use a layer, 
all the time because move around. You know, one side is half foot forward. This is the only one time you use it behind the chair to cutting the right hand side of the hair. The motion practice and after a chair to practice, the then realistic, you could understand. That kind of has a pull straight up, pull sideways, and a pull backward. That's only three way to cut the hair, nothing else. This is a video five years ago, Taka, my friend, and Mickey did it, a special effect made it for me. The human arm and the hand move circularly as an excess the shoulder, elbow, and the wrist. Since the purpose of the hair cutting is to make a straight cut run, I find that the circular movement was a disturbing, quick, and accurate cutting. What I found there was the theory of pulling out the hair with the body movement. I realized that, that I could draw an accurate straight line many times by moving my body, by pulling my hair without moving my hand and elbow. Pull out the hair on the top, side, and the back of the head. By mastering the three body movement, you will be able to make a surprisingly accurate and fast cut. In other words, a most cut up inaccurately and unconsciously cut due to the effect of the circular motion, which take a time to collect. You can write straight line by fixing your hand and elbow and working. It is a moggy body motion cut. That's understanding this principle and makes a quick and accurate cut. Haircut line is only three cut, horizontal, vertical, and diagonal. That's all line to make a different haircut. Now I'd like to explain to you what is a body motion hand movement. First place, many times, many hairdressers are standing like this, the parallel to the foot and the both shoulder because this is most comfortable. I don't blame it, but this is the most bad way to standing and cutting hair. Like this, you try, try to pull the hair toward you. See, hand go to circular motion, that get a diagonal cut. You can't cut a straight up and down cut. Now you're gonna be go after elbows up. If I say the top of the head, elbows up, elbows up, but you can't go up that much. So only one way to do it, change the foot position, two crop position, to meet the two, circular movement to the hand, then meet it, cut it. The top of the head, two crop position, move the top back and forth. Let's go see the top of the hair first. Now this is for the mistake many people does, They're standing to the pillow, then behind the chair. It's a too far away, it's elbows go down there, or always cutting diagonal cut. Now, for the forward, you try to cut a hair elbows up, but it's because of very awkward the elbows up. Very few people hold it like this straight up. Usually can slide them up, because that's physically too hard. Now, another mistake is the people putting it too far away, try to pull towards you. So what they do, hand is a flip it. If you see it, many heroes that do that way. Now, if you correct way to do it, you go to the two crop position, way forward, look at the elbow, way to the front of the customer. Then you cut hair. Just like you cutting hair by yourself, the same way you do it. Now, look at the put position. This is a little bit difficult to see it. When you go forward, your heels go up, and then bring in the hair, you straight, the elbow, shoulder, go in towards in the front of the head, and forehead, then, pull gently up. And that's supposed to be do. But you gotta need the training there. You can't do just look at, oh, I got it. No, you're not gonna get it. You gotta do that so many times, practice yourself. One a motion cut. You know, you don't need a haircut, just do the motion. Many times it's possible. Then you understand clearly. Now, front of you to show the heel up. I show you, so we're gonna go forward, heel up. Is way up because of forward their movement. I will show you later on and how you do the individual body motion to practice. Against the shoulder, elbow, 
and uh, check how they come up. The elbow coming in towards parallel to the side of the head, and then uh, gently go up. Just keep going up. Then a kind of L shape have to be done. Then you're doing a perfect straight cut. So many people never do that way. Okay, it's a show you for the good and bad. One side is the good, one side not so good. You see it, other hand, and it doesn't get sliced them up. This is a straight up. This is the only one thing I know it is a straight cut. I see that many, many hairs that never do straight cut. Just grab the hair to do it. Now, foot position is here you go, two crop position, and one is the both foot to the pair to standing up. So try to make a handle to cut the hair. That's a very difficult. It's a, almost impossible to cut in hair straight up to cut the hair. Okay, that's how to be done. Now you got one more time, go here, look at this. So you could straight up, you can see the hand is straight and apply the scissors flat, then it cut straight. Not that difficult if you look at it, but when I never did it, very difficult. Now how do you go to the angle? That's what she's gonna show you how to make angle. First, put on the hair, same way, and flat it down the scalp, then keep going up, just straight up, straight up, up. Then when you need angle, stop. And then your finger to go lift it all the way, if you could do that all the way straight up, then make an angle. The other side, the other side is a little bit difficult to do because uh, your hand has one breath there. They hold it this way easier, they come up a certain place, leave it there, pivot point to the point, you know, front of the finger, and then elbow the way up. Again, if you need it to, straight up. That you have to do. Now, hand movement, circular motion. Now, this is that we're talking about it. You try to make a straight back, and if you do that, unfortunately, you get in there right on the center, no matter how you do it. But the one foot forward, suddenly, same movement, straight to the your front of face. Now forward, apply the scissors, then bring it in. Look at it. She don't move, elbow, hand, just only body to do it. This is the only one way to cut it very straight out. Then, you could practice. Now, you have to practice, I told you, you need a worksheet, otherwise nobody do it. One minute of time in a square box, it take about eight hours to get the almost perfect stuff. Now, at the back of the head, and a good one, just go again, two crop position, go forward, lay down the finger first, then just bring it in, or they bring back. So, elbow, hand, and never stretch it. That's Sounds very easy to say, but they usually never do it because uh, automatically just yank the hairs out. Okay, let's go see what she's doing. Okay, one more time. She's straight, shoulder go up, go forward, and they grab the hair. I mean, actually, if touch the scalp and not grab the hair, try to get a root of the hair as possible. They lay down there and the hand and make sure parallel to the head and the hand to the parallel. You could fit it. And then hold the shoulder, elbow, then pro the comb and pick up a hair and a both finger. And then like this, stop. This is the distance you have uncomfortable one. Not too close, not too far. That's each person that will be different because you got tall or short a different way. Then stay there, just bring right back the gently back until you're cutting position. That's what you have to do. That's the best way to cut hair I know, but you need again practice. And you look at it, oh my, it's easy to do it. It's, <laughs> it's not that easy. I'm telling you, you don't do it. You don't practice a lot like eight hours a time, and you never make it because you have to be natural. Now, this is a bad example. Many people do that, standing in a parallel to side, then put it far away, then turning around. Okay, sure you go. That to pull the hair towards you, make sure we give a, a diagonal cut. So diagonal cut is okay, but if you want a straight cut, you can't do it, no matter how many times you do it. 
that's the biggest problem there. So you can go back again to crop position, then bring towards the forward to pick up a hair and lay down the hand, then pull gently out. So look at it, straight out. That's you could cut hair straight in a scissor holding the correct cut hair. So you have everything come up with it. You have to see the how to right way to hold it. And if you hold it the wrong way, you can't cut it. Then you have the body motion have to be done. If you're not, you can't do either. So she did it, everything so it looks so easy. Now I'm gonna be the angle change it. The same way as the top of the head, bring the hair, set on place, then bring the angle and a layer cut, or hold it. Layer cut, or like a air and graduation type cut. So that you have to adjust it yourself and hold it, stretch the finger. Make a layer cut or a graduation cut. You have to make a decision. How to make a straight line for the sideway. If you're standing still to swing the hand, hand became a triangle shape. Half foot four to make it, suddenly the center of the body became a straight line so use it for the left arm only to move it you see it move to the parallel to your body so you keep it down one hold it and move the body only to pull the hair now motion cut practice eight hours the whole seat then you could do it the side you can pull down the hair a good way just hold it down the hand look at it so even parallel, then two straight up. That's all you do, nothing. Then, whenever you come up there, necessary stop, and then cut the hair. That's so simple. But you know how many people can do this one? No, very few people could do a really good one. Even a great hair is a different way to do it. That's why it takes too long cutting hair. Now, go see the top front view and a good one. Just pull there, look at the top. You have to keep going, just hold it down, keep moving in the top of the body. So everything done to pull straight up. Then you could cut it. That's not that difficult, but it is a difficult, you never did anything like this. You gotta have to be, you don't need a haircut, it, just motion practice many times. This is again a foot. This is called a, we use like a half foot four. You don't need a two o'clock, half foot four, got that much difference that you're thickest the body. And then pull four. Then you could do it. But again, you have to be practiced before you cutting hair. So the motion cut against the wall, with the training. Now you gotta get good or bad. Left side is the good one, right side of that normal people do. So too far away, you're standing parallel, far away. So just, you can't cut hair like that. So you have to pull towards you. I know you do it that way. Then you cut the hair. So what they do, front to the longer and about close to you, the shorter. Then many people do the opposite way, take a whole thing out. So never be even. Now it's the front to the shorter, back to the longer. So this is the best side. You could see it, parallel foot and hold the hand, you have to be bring toward you to touch to the hair. So you can't be cut straight up. Now one more time, we show you a good one. Lay down the hand and half foot forward, pull straight sideways. That's what she could do. Once you do the full practice, and many times that you know, mother nature, you could do anything cutting hair like this. Very accuracy cut hair, of course, Never be 100% perfect, no way. Now this is the one for that game for layer cut, how you gonna do it? Hold it, bring it here to pull out. And then this is the going the other way around. You don't wanna cut it, just go down there. So again, this time, look at this. You have to be elbow way up to cut it. So bring the same place. Now when you finish it, pretty much cut evenly and all over the place. That's real cut. Thank you for watching the video a long time. Now you understand Mogi body motion haircut. Now, when I speak to the a lot of experienced hairdresser, who always basically negative. Nobody do this kind of training. Nobody like to do it. 
That's correct. Including myself, never had this kind of training. That's why it takes too long to become very good hairdresser and become a broad mistake. And they said, young people never like to do it with the instant gravity, they don't want a training. That's not true. Yes, a lot of hairdressers don't do it. When I go to KC Beauty School to training them, 15 people, only one person. 15 people, one person to finish it. But I don't care, these people become very good haircut very quickly. Also, people who have the five, 10 expand people, they take time off from Japan, then they stay with me one month, they became a total revolutionary their haircutting skill. So it is work everybody if you try the very serious. My friend, 10, 15 years experienced person tried to do my concept. And he was very impressed. And then when he did a clientele, he client told me, why you keep watching the foot today? So he told me that story. Then I told him, did you practice or training? He said, no, I never did. I said, I, I could do it because I'm cutting 10 years. No, it doesn't work that way. So you gotta be have the training, especially cutting a long time, you have to stop. And then you have to training. This is a time, the very good time, because you can cut hair, do the training that you reform yourself. I need it from you for the law, comment, and good or bad, anything I could get encouraged to do more. So please write it down, any comment on me. I'm appreciate it. Thank you very much.